It's official. The Boy Scouts of America have voted to allow open homosexuality in the Boy Scouts, including for overnight sleepovers in very close quarters in tents. Ouch. The homosexual lobby is ecstatic over their victory after relentlessly hammering away against the resolve of the Boy Scouts to overturn their hundred-year policy, preventing homosexuals from being allowed to be members. The result is seeing a wonderful, wholesome organization bite the moral camping dust. Rest in peace to the morally straight Boy Scout code. The moral damage to this decision is incalculable. Young, innocent boys will now be at the mercy of sexually active homosexual boys in unthinkable ways. Just how did the homosexual lobby succeed in selling something as good that the Bible states is sexual perversion? Simple. They choked out the finances of organizations such as the Boy Scouts by leaning on major corporations to withhold financial support to those organizations for so-called discrimination. Funding took a nosedive, and the organization leaders held their collective noses and voted their pocketbooks, rather than their conscience. Personally, I'm not sure how those leaders can sleep at night, knowing who their boys are going to be sleeping with. So what exactly is it about homosexuality that makes its advocates advance with such urgency into even the most moral institutions including the church and the Boy Scouts? In a word, Homosexuality is like a virus, and a virus needs a host to invade to survive. And the homosexual lobby now has the opportunity to recruit in their new mission field 2.7 million Boy Scouts, invading their code, their philosophy, and overnight camping. Their hope appears to be to invade straight Scouts, to who in turn can invade other Scouts. A kind of homosexual domino effect, if you will. The sad thing is that for every one adult scout leader who leaves the scouts, there will be two homosexual leaders more than willing to volunteer for the job. This allows scouting doors to swing wide open to the pedophiles taking over the leadership vacuum. Perhaps this is a better way of putting the matter into perspective. If a real deadly virus wanted to take over your body to kill you, would you be dumb enough to cave in and let it in simply because it cried, discrimination? So why did the Boy Scouts fall to the same manipulative, illogical, guilt-invoking tactic, perhaps out of fear? But make no mistake about it, the horrible things that will now occur with our precious young boys in dark Boy Scout tents will make prior fears look like a stroll through a well-lit park. So ask yourself this question in light of this change. Will you be able to sleep at night, knowing who your son may be sleeping next to at night in his Boy Scout tent?